Okay, I guess we're doing this. Let's look at the Leviticus passage that you say condemns homosexuality. You specifically mentioned the King James, so let's just look at the King James. If a man lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death, and their blood shall be upon them, yada, yada, yada. Now, I could be goofy, and we could talk about what lie means, but we could agree that that means sex. It specifically says here, if he lies with a man like he lies with a woman. A committed gay relationship is not like that. A committed gay relationship is significantly different than lying with a woman. To you, it seems like this obviously condemns homosexuality. But that's because you're coming from a position where it is obvious that homosexuality is bad. I am not. And to me, this passage just says, don't do this one thing like you would do this other thing. Don't lie with a man, have sex with a dude, like you would have sex with a woman. To me, that sounds like a warning against false pretenses. To me, that sounds like a warning against infidelity, which would be more internally consistent with the Bible, which repeatedly does come down hard on infidelity of all types. And here's how this discussion usually goes. Like, we've agreed that lie means to have sex with, yes? So I say as long as they lie with a man different from how they lie with a woman, then it doesn't end up fitting this description and everything's okay. And then you say, no, it's all lying with a man. It's all male homosexual sex. So I say, okay, then lesbians should be fine, right? And then you say, no, it's all homosexuality. Even though that's not what the passage says, you say it's obvious that it's all homosexuality. There's another layer of your interpretation. So then I say, okay, this is only talking about sex, so then gay relationships without sex are fine, right? And then you say, no, it's all homosexual attraction, all homosexual relationships. Which just contradicted the agreement that we had about how lie with means to have sex with. So there's yet another layer of your interpretation. At this point, we've strayed away from the text quite a bit to fit your interpretation that it condemns homosexuality. When it doesn't. That's only obvious to you. Now here's the thing, if you actually ask theological scholars, they'll tell you that this was against war prostitution, which again falls more in line with my infidelity analysis. Plus there's the fact that no mention of homosexuality in the Bible was seen before 1946, I believe. So there's tons and tons of evidence to say that this is not condemning homosexuality. But even if you throw all of that out, even if you throw out all the studies, everything that theologians have said, this passage does not say homosexuality is a sin. It says, lying with a man as you lie with a woman is a sin. That is not synonymous with homosexuality. You interpret it that way, and it can just as easily be interpreted in other ways. And if you interpret it to mean that all homosexuality is bad, you should ask yourself why you're doing that. Maybe that bigotry was already in you, and you're just seeing it reflected in the way you interpret the Bible.